Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can both download and install Office, whether you're looking for Office 2010, 2013, 2016, 2019, or Office 365. Unfortunately, if you have Office 2007, Microsoft no longer supports this and you'll be unable to download it. So if you're looking for 2007, hopefully you still have a CD lying around and you can install off there if that's what you're looking for. As full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. And in the video today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can both download and install it through the official channels that Microsoft offers. And you're gonna need either a subscription or a product key to be able to use the software. So I'm not gonna, this video does not go into how to simply get it for free on your desktop. You need a product key or a subscription. All right, well, with all that out of the way, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do it. Here I am on my PC, and the way that we're gonna get Office is we're gonna go to a website called office.com. I already have it up here in the URL field of my web browser. And so what we do is once we're on office.com, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on sign in. Uh, you don't have to click on get Office because you already have Office. So let's go ahead and click on sign in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show this with a few different accounts. First, I'm gonna sign in with my paid account that I have with uh, Office. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in my password. And let's go ahead and sign in. What will happen then is I'll land on the authenticated version of office.com. And on this website, you'll see this big button up here that says install Office. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And this is, uh, once again, this is an Office 365 account. And so when I click on that, what'll happen is it'll bring me to uh, the install page. And here it says install Office on all your computers. And I could go ahead and click on install Office. And then it'll ask me uh, a few different options, what language. So I could click here and I could change the language. I could change the default version. Uh, by default, you get 64 bit, but here I could specifically choose which version I want. And then I could go ahead and click on install. Now this is how you install Office 365. Let's say that you have perhaps Office 2013, 2016, or 2019, and you have a product key and you wanna install it. So let me show you what that flow looks like. So here, once again, even in that flow, you wanna make sure you log into office.com, and I've logged into office.com for an account that I might have a product key for. Now what happened is I landed on this page and I see this install button. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice here, because it's not an Office 365 account, I get this message that says, hey, go premium with Office 365. But you'll notice another option right beneath that button that says, I have an Office product key. And in this case, if you have a product key, let's go ahead and click on that. What'll happen is it brings me to a website called setup.office.com. And what you have to do is you need to log in with a Microsoft account. You could either sign in or you could create a new account using this button. And once you either sign in or create a new account, it'll ask you to enter your product key. And what'll happen then is it'll tie that product key to your Microsoft account. So if you log in on office.com in the future, you don't have to go through this step again. Instead, you'll be able to just click on the install button. So this is tying your account together with your product key. And at that point, you don't really need your product key anymore because your Microsoft account is now tied to that product key. So that's how you get Office 2013, 2016, 2019, or Office 365. That's how you go ahead and download and install Office on your computer. Also, another thing you can do is, let's say you have Office 2010, you could also download earlier versions of Office. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this tab. Here's the website that you could go to, microsoft.com forward slash enus forward slash software. In any case, you could just go down into the description. I have the link in there. It'll be a lot easier just to click on that than to have to type this in. And so here what you could do is for Office 2010 or Office for Mac 2011, you could go ahead and you could download uh, by following these steps here. You'll enter your product key, verify your product key, and then you could download Office and install Office 2010 onto your computer. Unfortunately, I mentioned earlier that if you have Office 2007, unfortunately support for that has ended. It is from about 13 years ago and Microsoft no longer supports it. Uh, so if you have 2007, if you still have a CD, you could use it. However, there are no more security updates. Uh, there might be you know, different vulnerabilities with the software and also Office software has gotten a lot better since then. 
Um, so recommend going with a newer option if you are on 2007. All right, well, that was just a quick tutorial how you could download and install Office. The easiest place to go is to go to office.com. You'll have an install button there. If you have a subscription, you could simply install directly from there. If you have a product key, you'll have to tie your product key to an account, but then you could also download Office. Once again, this works. Office.com will help you get Office for 2013, 2016, 2019, or Office 365. If you have Office 2010, I've included a link in the description that you could go to that'll allow you to validate your product key and then also download Office. All right, well, hopefully that helped uh, help you figure out how you can download Office onto your machine. If you were successful at downloading and installing Office, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos that you wanna see me cover in the future on this channel, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, enjoy using Office and I'll see you next time. Bye.